Environmental pathogens are microorganisms that normally spend a substantial part of their life cycle outside hosts, but when introduced to humans, frequently cause disease. Pathogens are carried in the water, soil, air, food, and other parts of the environment, and can affect almost everyone. Microbes make the world go round. They're part of our bodies and part of the environment. They're an essential part of making things work well. For example, in our guts, bacteria digest the material and enable us to survive. But from time to time, these bacteria can become pathogenic and cause diseases. Current pathogen detection technologies are relatively slow and expensive. Water utilities, for example, send out a collector who has to drive to a reservoir and get the sample. Then it needs to be transported to the laboratory and cultivated. All in all, it takes up to 24 to 48 hours to get a result. Finding environmental pathogens is like looking for a needle in a haystack. There is a significant unmet need in detecting, measuring quickly and efficiently the presence of bacterial and microbial contaminants in the environment. Rapid detection of these will lead to great improvements in management of food, water and the environment. Environmental Biotechnology CRC, researchers at Macquarie University in Sydney and Murdoch University in Perth are currently working on technology that will detect harmful microorganisms in water in less than four hours. At the EBCRC we're developing novel technologies to overcome the problems associated with detecting pathogens from environmental samples. We have three main projects. The first, we're improving sample concentration techniques. The second, we're looking at improving the sensitivity of molecular-based methods. And the third is designing new field-based devices that we can put in the environment to look for pathogens. We're developing technologies that mimic the human body's ability to detect pathogens. So we combine antibodies with micro or nanoparticles and then use these to try and identify pathogens from environmental samples. A key to our success is our ability to break up the organisms and then multiply parts of it by using a special chemical at body temperature. Other systems, similar to ours, require complex lab equipment or high temperatures which are just not viable in remote field operations. We've been working with our partners to develop this rapid detection technology since the start of the EBCRC. I'm confident that by bringing together the high-tech biotechnology aspects and making them into very simple systems, we're going to be able to provide the veterinary, water, health and environmental industries the means to detect, manage, preserve and provide us all with a better environment.